I had a couple of mugs where the handle cracked off and it was because I was trying something new with slip um, getting it super thick and deflocculated so it was almost the same dryness as the body um, I wanted to see if that would shrink less around the joint and therefore you get less less likelihood of it cracking around the joint where the slip is which is it did but unfortunately it doesn't get into the clay as well as um, wetter slip so it was a test it resulted in a piece like this a couple of pieces like this actually this is bone dry pretty bone dry uh, I left it to dry because I thought I'd use it for a glaze test I could test basically it would become a, a good test as a mug even though it wouldn't be usable because the handle's not attached I think you should be able to completely rehydrate it so I've got a little bit of plaster it's just normal potter's plaster and then I've got a tightly sealing plastic pot I'm gonna put that in and I pour I've got 150 ml of water which is too much that's floating in it don't think the plaster will absorb quite enough, but no, it's doing a good job. No, I think the plaster is going to absorb all that. The reason I want 150 mil approximately is that the mug should need about 70 mil of water to rehydrate it back to plastic clay. So having a bit more allows the humidity in here to get to 100% and it can just sit at 100% humidity. The reason you put plaster at the bottom is the same reason you do in damp boxes it's because um, anything else will go mouldy or where the mug contacts it you'll probably get a bead of water and it will ruin the quality of the mug whereas plaster can sit incredibly um, saturated without transferring that directly to the mug and softening the rim or the base so that should do that's absorbed all the water there's basically none at the bottom in fact i might just top it up with even a touch more make sure there is as much water in there as i can get away with and then just going to sit that in there I'm just going to leave it for a few days and in theory the clay will just keep absorbing more and more moisture until it's completely hydrated and soft. That's about a week later and the mug has rehydrated to the point of being soft plastic clay again you should I'm not saying this is the way to go about making mugs but if you get some slip that isn't mixed up too thick and reapply it really pressurize and wiggle the joint which is what works the clay into each other yeah that's better that's not moving and what I would say is that um, the amount of plaster in that container was not enough and you can see that the um, the clay on the base has actually got wet uh, the plaster should protect it from that but I put too much water in for the amount of plaster that was there and if I was doing this again um, I would use a larger amount of plaster just so that the plaster itself is less saturated because I obviously got the plaster to essentially 100% saturation at which point it then couldn't keep the water away from the base of the mug but I have taken a handle that had cracked off because um, it was poorly attached and dried badly and I have taken a completely bone dry piece and rehydrated it to the point of being plastic clay again so I could bend the handle away apply more slip compress it back together and reattach the handle and I will dry that slowly in a damp box and I am 
pretty confident that will hold and then I will fire the piece and see if I can snap the handle off but um, I'm fairly sure I won't be able to because the amazing thing with clay is until it's fired you can take the humidity up and down and it will behave the same way at each humidity particularly if it's not like casting slip or anything so there's nothing added to it it's just clay and water as the clay dries the water leaves if you add water back to the clay it behaves like wet clay the clay out of a bag isn't anything special it's just clay with a certain amount of water in and if you take dry clay um, admittedly if it's fully dry clay and then you're adding water you might need to mix it up like uh, doing reclaim it doesn't matter how well that is mixed but something like this you can just get a piece wetter and it'll start behaving like soft clay again uh, and in this case a plaster a damp box which is basically saturated with water will take clay back to um, essentially this is like it's been freshly thrown almost it's um this is wetter this clay is softer than I would want it to be to trim so this is kind of the day after it's thrown sort of level of dryness um, that works better than I was expecting it to and um, it's good to know if ever you have a piece where you wish you could just reset the dryness you can take a fully dry piece back to plastic. <laughs>